Hey guys, it's Czar, back here with another video. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about a workout and diet tip for you guys, right? Um, a lot of us get mixed up and thrown into this analysis paralysis, paralysis analysis, whatever the fuck it is, which basically means you are always switching up diets, you're always switching up your workout routine, you don't know if you should bulk or cut or this, that, and, you know, it's just, you're all over the place, essentially, basically, right? Um, and the best way to fix this, the best way to balance, balance yourself, because if you're always, you can never get results that you desire if you're always switching, switching up, like, your, um, or, or like you don't, you can't stick with like a workout plan, basically. Like that's, you're never gonna get results because if you, let's say, you start like a 21 day weight loss program and you make it to day 10, and then you you look up another weight loss program and it tells you to eat this type of food instead of the one that you're already eating. Um, you're just gonna lose your progress because you're not sticking to your diet that possibly would work right you know obviously if you're following the guidelines but but you know if you're if you're like I said if you're always switching stuff you're not gonna be consistent so how do you find the one that works for you right now listen I really can't give you the answer the best advice I can give you is this if you're fat if you're overweight if you're not at the ideal weight that you desire to be at, then maybe it's best for you to lose weight, to cut, to find out a workout program that works best suited for you, right? That could be the ketogenic diet, that could be intermittent fasting, which I'm a big proponent of, I like it. Um, that could be anything, right? It all depends on you. So if you're losing weight, pick something that might work for you. Now, here's the thing. You might have to trial and error, right? You might have to see, okay, if I do intermittent fasting, I'll try that maybe for a week. If that doesn't, if I, if I don't like that, maybe I'll go to the ketogenic diet or maybe I'll just eat fruits and vegetables. Maybe I'll go vegan. Maybe I'll just go carnivore, right? So you can try all these things, right? You can test them out. But I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is you have to just find out what your objectives are at the moment. That That's kind of what I'm trying to drive home here. So basically, like I said previously, if you're trying to cut, if you're, if you're overweight, cut weight, right? There's plenty of workout routines. There's plenty of uh, diets. Just pick one. Stick to it, right? Now, on the other hand, if you're skinny, if you're you need to put on muscle mass right if you need to gain weight then obviously it would be ideal for you to choose a bulking workout plan and again these diets work right but for bulking you want to be in a caloric surplus which means you're eating more than you're burnt you're eating more calories than you're burning so like you could do keto but you'd have to eat more food right or you could do vegan but you'd have to eat more food you do carnivore but you'd have to eat more right so like I said especially I, this kind of goes to beginners because I I, I think uh, veteran or yeah veteran and seasoned weightlifters know kind of what they what their objectives are so like I said for you it might be different but I'm gonna give you something like I said, those two work, right? So decide if you're fat, try to lose weight. If you're skinny, if you're skinny, fat, try to bulk up, try to put on muscle. But I'm going to give you something that will work regardless of what you're trying to do. Because like I said, these diets and shit, like all, like there's so much science out there behind all this shit and it's, it's easy to get caught up in it and not know what to do. I'm going to give you it's not even a workout plan. It's just a basic, it's like a generalization of what you should do as a, a fitness person, as someone who 
is into health and fitness and stuff like that, right? For workouts, um, do do weights, do bar uh, squats, deadlifts, all that shit, right? All the compound movements, you can look them up. Uh, stretch, right? I think a a balanced um, weightlifting or a weightlifting routine has to be balanced with stretching, because if you don't stretch, because if you don't stretch, if you just lift weights all the time. You're going to be so tense and tight and sore and it's just, you're going to be, it's not good. It, it's when you stretch, man, like it releases so much like mental tension and just, it, it's so good for you, man. So you need to balance it out. You need to balance your weightlifting routine with a stretching routine. That can mean 15 minutes after your weightlifting session, right? Just a little stretch. doesn't have to be much, just something to, like I said, open up those muscle fibers and get the tension released right because not a lot of weight you see a lot of these bodybuilders they don't stretch man they're just focused on size but again for a holistic approach to this stretching would be a, a highly recommended thing for you to do and body weight you can do body weight exercises right push-ups pull-ups squats lunges anything planks core work Core is very important. I mentioned that in a video a couple weeks ago. Core is very important. If you're if you're someone who needs to know what to do, always incorporate core into your workouts, right? But core is kind of involved. You can activate your core through the weightlifting uh, workouts, like deadlifts, uh, bent over rows, squats, right? You can you can activate your your core throughout those. But I think it's good to do planks and stuff like that just to add a little bit of extra if you're not fully activating your core and as far as diet goes um whole foods just eat whole foods right because um oh and drink a lot of water holy shit a lot of this is like honestly this might be like 25 percent of your whole fitness like uh just plan overall right drink water Water is essential to life in our body and in everything else. Everything drinks water. Mostly, I don't know what else they do. I, birds drink water. Fucking fish, I guess, drink water. I don't know. I see everything drinks water. We drink water, and we're also 70% water. Now, I don't know the, the details on what part of our body is, but I just know we're 70% water, which means that we need to stay hydrated all day. It's kind of crazy to me that all of us not all of us but 80 to 90 percent of us are walking around dehyd dehydrated when you sleep and you're digesting food all night your body uses water to digest all that food so when you wake up in the morning what the fuck like you have to drink water because if you don't you're it's going to be way harder for you to rehydrate yourself during the day because you're always you're already Let's say you're already eating throughout the day. It's going to be harder because you're using the water that's already been fucking used the night, uh, the previous night for digestion, for the day's digestion because you're eating breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner, right? And so on. So water, drink water. But whole foods, right? Anyway, back to the point. Whole foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, meat. Um, I'd stay away from like protein bars and shit. There's a lot of people that say, oh, like, protein bars are good. But if you look at the ingredients, man, there's so much, like, extra shit that doesn't belong in your body. So I'd stay away from protein bars. A lot of people like to eat them because they have they're, they have protein, so they're, they're healthy. But if you look at the sugar content, it's basically a candy bar. So I'd stay away from those completely. I, I cut out Cliff Bars, Zone Bars. I cut them all out because... Man, there's just so much shit in there, and the sugar content is just ridiculous. So it's it's not even healthy at all. So cut those out. And besides that, I mean, you can eat Greek yogurt. I I like Greek yogurt. So just single ingredient stuff, right? Broccoli, spinach, uh, b uh beef, chicken, fish, apples, oranges, shit like that. Blueberries, grapes. Uh, you know, just not uh, almonds, walnuts. All that shit is fine anything that's single ingredient right when you're at the store also just look at the ingredients if there's a lot of shit on there 
if there's usually a paragraph of just a bunch of stuff, it's probably not the best idea to choose that, right? To buy it. So anyway, that wraps it up. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any more um, fitness questions or any questions um, that you have, make sure to leave them down below. I um, I've been do I I haven't really been uploading a lot of fitness videos, but I, and health videos. But I think it's important because health is kind of the foundation of growing yourself, of becoming a better version of yourself, right? Anyways, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.